Are you dreaming to be an IAS officer? Then follow your dreams. Dreams do come true. This is Kajol Jadav and I am here to explain daily current affairs for UPSC Civil Services exam. Rent a roof policy can give residential solar energy the push it requires. What is rent a roof policy? If comes true, why the new rent a roof policy will play a significant role in Indian clean energy targets? What is net metering policy? How does it regulate Indian solar market? GS Paper 3 Conservation Energy What is the context about? The center is planning a rent a roof policy to support its ambitious plan to generate 40 gigawatts of power from solar rooftop projects by 2022. The government solar power target is 100 GW. Of this, 60 GW is expected to come from ground mounted grid connected projects. The success of the rooftop solar is critical for India, which is faced with the challenge of decarbonizing its electricity sector and tackling air pollution, some of part of which is caused by coal-fired power plants generating electricity. What is rent-a-roof policy? If the new rent-a-roof policy comes through solar developers can rent rooftop space, fit it with solar panels and feed the power to the grid. These companies will provide end-to-end -end service to those interested in installing solar systems. If the policy takes off, householders will not have to bother themselves anymore with the time-consuming, bureaucratic nitty-gritty that precedes the installation of panels. If comes true, why the new rent a roof policy will play a significant role in Indian clean energy targets. India offers a big opportunity for solar energy. Its 750 GW potential is driven by roughly 300 sunny days a year with an average solar radiation range of 4 to 7 kilowatt hours per square meter. Of India's ambitious target of 175 GW of clean energy capacity by 2022, 100 GW is to come from the solar projects. Large solar plants require land, lots of it. Therefore, it is important that the policies support rooftop and decentralized solar power generation both off-grid and on. The proposed policy could empower the solar energy industry to focus on households. It also gives every home a chance to be energy independent. What is net metering policy? How does it regulate Indian solar market? Net metering is the process whereby consumers can sell the surplus energy generated from their solar power system. The scheme allows consumers to export or feed the surplus energy generated by the installed power plant at the rate fixed by respective state regulatory commission. In a net metering system, a consumer is only billed for the electricity consumed after deducting the power generated from one's solar rooftop panels that is supplied to the grid. The regulations governing net metering policy differ from state to state. For example, Haryana provides incentive at 25 every unit generated from the solar power system, whereas every unit exported to the grid can be sold at 9.6 rupees in Karnataka and at 9.20 rupees in Uttarakhand.